the second method in data tabulation is relative frequency distribution so relative frequency distribution is a type of descriptive statistics that express the frequency of each unique value in a data set as a proportion or percentage of the total observations i'm repeating again so the frequency of each unique value in a data set as a proportion or a percentage of the total observations so let's look into the one example here so if you see the iq levels of various students in my class that i have written on left column and after that i have calculated the frequency so the 82 iq i have one student and 93 iq i have two students and again 131 iq i have two students rest all are of one 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 frequency of iq so now what i did is i want to have a relative frequency distribution then the frequency so one i divided so 24 so i have one and one divided by 24 will give you the uh, uh percentage a relative frequency distribution of iq 82 and similarly two divided by 24 will give you the relative frequency distribution of iq 93 so if you have doubt let me do a small calculation and show it to you yep so one divided by 24 it's point zero point so okay let me multiply let me put into the brackets one divided by 24 that's it it's a 4.166 uh, and then so you just round it off and you'll get the 4.2 and similarly 2 divided by 24 multiplied by 100 8.33 and here it is 8.3 and that's how we have calculated the relative frequency distribution so relative frequency distribution is expresses the frequency of each unique value in a data set as a proportion of proportion or percentage of the total frequency so this is the unique frequency this is the frequency of this unique uh, 82 iq and which will be for the divided by 24 will give you the relative frequency distribution so 1 divided by 24 2 divided by 24 that will give you the relative frequency distribution so let's take one example to get the clear cut understanding of the same so 3.2 relative frequency distribution so in pandas you can easily calculate uh, uh, and visualize the relative frequency distributions using various functions and methods so we will take one example here so let me create a uh, you know, simple data frame so i think i would have at this age i have created age one let me take the same one uh, in spite of going for the uh, ages i don't think uh, it's there uh, okay never mind uh, let's create the new one so create a data frame so d f r f d is our data frame name and pandas data frame so h a sequence of values 25 3030 22 35 28 and uh, after 28 we'll go back to 30 and 35 again then 30 22 then 25 22 28 25 22 28 so there ends our uh, data frame
So now let's uh, calculate. Let's calculate the relative frequency distribution distribution of age column. So to calculate that, let me say relative freak and distribution is equals to df of age and uh, let me directly apply the value counts and after the value counts we need to give a special one uh, a special argument known as a uh, normalize so in in this example we use the value counts uh, function or method with the normalize is a true argument to calculate the relative frequency distribution of the age column the resulting output shows the relative frequencies of each unique value in the age column as proportions or percentages of the total observations in the data frame so let me print so rel and something is wrong so normalized uh, okay d f r f t and here is that fantastic response so 0 0.25 25 166 166 166 so this is how your if you sum it up all you will get a one so here we got the percentages uh, here we got the 0 0.25 so this is not the percentage, this is the value we got, the 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. If you convert that into percentage, it will become 25, 25, 16, 16, 16. Okay, so you can further customize the relative frequency distribution analysis based on your specific data set and analysis requirements. For example, you can round the relative frequencies to a specific number of decimal places or visualize the relative frequency distribution using a pie chart or other visualizations. We'll be doing that in later stage.